Welcome back guys, so Luke FC's paid FSR3 frame generation mod received a new update on 20th January in the form of version 0.10.1. It was basically a hotfix for version 0.10 that was released on 18th January which added support for different types of modes. I will be covering these modes in this video. First we have enable underscore upscaling underscore only. Need to add this command via a TOML file that will be created when we launch the game for the first time after installing the mod. Descriptions for different types of modes have been provided. Enable upscaling only is the same as default but FSR3 frame generation will not work with it. Next we have replace underscore DLSS underscore FG. This command replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR3 frame generation. We will be able to use other upscalers like DLSS or XCSS. My PC has an RTX 2070 Super GPU. So I will be using DLSS 3 upscaler instead of FSR3 upscaler. We'll try to demonstrate the difference in terms of picture quality in Spider-Man and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart with the mod installed. Next we have use underscore game underscore upscaling. It allows us to use DLSS or XCSS upscalers with frame generation in games that don't support DLSS frame generation. By default, the default mode is used. DLSS or FSI inputs are taken in order to enable FSR3 upscaling and frame generation. The latest hotfix addressed a few problems with a couple of modes, enable upscaling only and use game upscaling. These commands are not going to work. Luke FC messed up the mode values in the early 0.1 versions. Instead of using enable upscaling only, you should be using enable game only. And instead of using use game upscaling, you should be using use built in upscaling. I have already explained the functioning and setup process of this mod in another video. I'll drop its link in the description. You need to subscribe to Luke FC's Patreon page in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. Their monthly Patreon subscription costs around 6.01 US dollars. I have already downloaded all of their mod files at the time of recording this video. The latest version of the mod is 0.10.1. First I'll show you the mod installation process for Spider-Man Remastered. Extract the contents of common mod files archive file. I have already done that. Select the two files here. Copy them. We need to paste them in the game's install directory. I own the Steam version of Spider-Man. Select the game in your library. Right click. Go to manage then go to browse local files. This is the game's install directory. We need to paste the files here. This game uses FSR version 2.1. So you need to copy the mods ASI file corresponding to it. I have already extracted it. There is the ASI file. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Need to add a launch parameter. Select the game in your Steam library. Then click on settings cog. Then click on properties. This is the launch parameter that I was talking about. I'll provide it in the description of this video. You can copy it from there and paste it here. We are ready to run the game. I'll show you how to use the different types of modes. First, we need to generate the game's TOML file. Just need to launch the game for the first time with the mod installed and the file will be generated in the same directory where we have pasted the mod files. You'll see a black window with logs. This means the mod is working. Click on settings. I am using DLSS upscaler, preset set to quality but with the default mode only FSR3 upscaler will work. Frame generation enabled, full HD resolution. Using the high preset, ray tracing set to high, start the game. Once you are in the menu, you can exit the game. The TOML file will be generated now. There it is, open it. By default the mode is set to default. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. Do not use enable underscore upscaling underscore only command. Need to use this command enable underscore game underscore only. Click on file, click on save, close the file. This command disables frame generation. This Spider-Man here we are getting around 80 to 85 FPS. This is the game without frame generation. Swinging around. So now I'll enable the setting. Just open the TOML file. First I'll use the default mode. It 
FSR3 will be used as the upsampler. Even if I use DLSS as the input. There's Spider-Man. FPS increase up to 144. Max out my monitors refresh it. Now I'm moving the camera slowly. Try to observe the artifacts around Spider-Man's character model. Yeah, I can observe some graininess. This is due to FSR3 upsampler. I hope it's observable now. Now I'll be swinging around the city. Texture Shimri. FPS mostly stays above 130. Not observing any input lag. Games hard elements are also not flickering. So now I'll enable DLSS. Again open the TOML file. Just use this mode, replace underscore TLSS underscore FG. Click on file, click on save. That's it. Close the file. Run the game. Now DLSS upscaler should be working. Make sure you have selected it from in-game settings. Same settings as before. There's Spidey getting around 144 FPS and check out the image quality. It's slightly better than before. DLSS is working. I'll just swing around. So good to see DLSS working with frame generation. Now I'll be trying out the next game. Now I'll quickly show you how to install this modern Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. I own the Steam version of this game. Select the game in your Steam library. Click on the settings cog here. Click on properties. Add this launch option. Copy the mods common files. These two files. Paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click. Go to manage, go to browse local files. This is the games install directory, paste the files here. Need to copy the games ASF file corresponding to SDK. I have already extracted it. There is the file. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. That's it, we are ready to run the game. Execute the games exe file. A black window with logs will pop up. Wait for the game's installer to start. There it is. Access settings. For this game, I'll be using DLSS. I've set its preset to quality, frame generation enabled. Game's resolution set to full HD. Both of these games support DLSS frame generation natively. Graphics preset high. Ray tracing disabled. Now you can actually close the game's launcher here. TUML file will still get generated. Quit. There's the file. First, I'll run the game without frame generation. Replace default with enable game only. Click on file, click on save. Start the game. Game has started. Hey, we're getting around 60 FPS. No frame generation. I'll play the game for a brief moment. Few explosions, 56 FPS. Image quality is looking a bit grainy. FSR3 upscaler is being used. 54 to 70 FPS. Now I'll enable frame generation. Open the TUML file. Just use the replace TLSS FG command.
file, save, start the game. DLSS along with frame generation should be working now. We are in there stretched. FPS increased up to 100. Image quality has improved as well, all thanks to DLSS. Unfortunately, the game's HUD is flickering. Crosshair is also flickering. We have seen this problem even in Nukem 9's mod. I hope both of the models are able to fix this issue with the future updates. That's it for the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.